everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning November 1st, 2021, on this day of the dead. My love to each and every one of you and to all of our beautiful loved ones on the other side. All right, so as we get into this here, I already, mm, what I feel is everyone's just kind of laid out. <laughs> laid out like exhausted. Uh, there's been some major transformations. Um, it's been very hard to keep up with all of the happenings in the world. Um, definitely things like volcanoes. Um, we've had floods the past couple of months. Well, we've been having floods for a while, but you know, just all those kinds of things going on. And it just feels like people are getting to an emotionally exhausted place. However, from this place, I'm feeling like people start maybe turning on one another a little bit. I always got to check my mic. <laughs> I'm always nervous about it. Keep the hair back from it, the whole thing. Um, people might start turning on one another or again, uh, doing the pain dump on someone else. Let's be careful with that. Or people are trying to shut down other people's feelings uh, because they can't handle any more. So, Again, let's be fair, let's be kind, all right? And uh, let's see what else is going on here. If you would like a personal reading with me, that could be an Akashic Records reading or an angelic reading from which you might have an angelic encounter, go to angelsouls444.com. Please note that there is nothing to schedule. I learned a long time ago that that is a losing game <laughs> because it just takes too long, it's too messy. So uh, I will give you an MP3. Fear not, been doing it for eight years, people love them, so <laughs> you can head on over there. And also, don't forget, I do have all of the Archangel Meditation Challenges. If you haven't done those yet, again, a good way to have an angelic encounter by really going deep and connecting with an Archangel. Those are at gumroad.com slash angel souls, along with a lot of other angelic and spiritual content. The cards are flying every, oh Lord, <laughs> they're flying everywhere. <laughs> okay, what's happening? Your loved ones are here, I think. <laughs> they say hi. Oh, are you kidding me? What y'all doing? Was that up before or am I just losing my mind? Okay, I heard Teresa. Who sent Teresa? Hi, <laughs> love to everybody. All right, let's get an Archangel Michael card here as well. There it is. A favorable outcome. All right. I didn't even look at the cards. I was so freaked out. Okay. Let's let's do the order here. They went boom, boom, boom like this. And then there's some love coming like soulmate stuff. I don't even know. All right. <laughs> here we go, guys. So we have the high priestess, Archangel Haniel. And this is the number two. Okay. Now, Archangel Haniel is all about balance. I associate her with moon phases, the divine feminine. Um, she's also over, or well, she oversees hormonal balance. So there's that. And it's all about feminine power. Okay. Now, everybody has divine feminine and masculine within them. And this feels so far like it's a focus on uh, balancing those aspects, but also the intuitive. Yeah, that's Haniel too. Intuition. Sorry, I have to keep wiping my nose. I got the sniffles. So there's that. This says powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. So it makes sense. This is that time of year where uh, the veil is thin. We are tapped in, right? And we are getting messages. Now be careful with this because any manipulation of energy that is not done with integrity is going to come back on you. For certain, okay, <laughs> just be very careful with that. Then we have 10 of Ariel, very nice. So we have, there is so much to be grateful for, financial success, nice, and the promise of retirement, yes. Who wants to retire? Should we all re retire together? Let's go to an island, well, maybe not, not one that has a volcano. <laughs> the earth is mad, okay. <laughs> um, the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. So, wow. Guys, and then we have Ace of Ariel, and then we have Two of Raphael. Okay, uh, this is sort of, and then we have a favorable outcome. What is happening? Some of us have done some major healing. Okay, so you've looked at your patterns. You've said, nah, 
We ain't playing no games, okay? <laughs> and it feels like there's this opening of this energy. Now, that doesn't mean that this won't come smoothly necessarily. Um, it might it might be one of those things where someone's just, again, like always trying to hold, because I, I see someone dragging behind you. Now, this might mean, no, 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 you stay in the realm of this dynamic so I can control you. You are my supply or whatever the deal is, right? And you're saying no. Now, again, if you're in a dangerous situation, please make sure that you reach out to local resources wherever you are in the world and get help, all right? This is not a replacement for therapy either. You know, I always say that. So this is good fortune. <laughs> this is very good fortune. And this is saying uh, the money you need is coming. Now, there's an unlocking and unleashing. That's what I'm hearing. And unlocking and unleashing. Oh, this is Moonstone. It's got moon all over it. That's a very Haniel thing. Love it. It's also a very Gabriel thing too. But anyway, there's something here where it's like, I've been going along, going along, going along, and you're just accepting. Okay. Just accepting what's happening. And then you realize, why am I doing this? Right? I don't even enjoy this. And that's not my key to happiness. So there is a message here too, to, um, release your grip a little bit. <laughs> right? Again, you know, here, you hear me say all the time about manifesting that we get it in our head that I want this and that is the perfect thing for me, but then the universe doesn't deliver. And then we sit there and say, oh, my manifestation didn't work, so on and so on. I have a tickle in my throat too, sorry. Uh, <laughs> all is well, <laughs> it's good. It's just that time of year and my face does not react well to it. Uh, <laughs> so this is that kind of thing where you may not be getting what you want, but you're definitely getting what will make you happy. Ah, notice what I said. I didn't say you may not be getting what you want, but you get what you need. I mean, it'll be that too, but you'll, you'll get what truly makes you happy. And maybe you didn't even realize it because you didn't have a point of reference for it. So we have Ace of Ariel here. It's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support, a change in job, or a promotion. Now, some of you, this is a very, very positive energy, but you might go through this week going, I, I think I, I heard a, I'm not an astrologer, so astrologers correct me. I think I heard an astrologer say that November 4th might be a difficult day. Uh, I don't know, it seems good here, but that, that doesn't mean that you won't perceive it a certain way. Do you see what I'm saying? So we have good energy here that we can work with, but if you're somebody who's terrified of change and you know something is occurring in, in the work arena, um, or here you go, like a love partner, and if you're single, a new love partner coming in, or just a, a good friend who has your back or something like that, or a partnership, a business partnership that happens. Again, it feels like it's a good thing, but you're having to scramble to make sense of it because it's out of your realm of understanding. That was my big old ring hitting the desk. Yeah, some of you are not gonna be comfortable with this change. Nor the people around you. Yeah, that's the other thing. Um, Stay how we're used to you. You be what we want you to be. It's that sort of thing. So here's two of Raphael. Two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits. Don't give up on those you love. Now let's be careful with that statement. If you have people in your life who are toxic, they're abusive, they're just always, you know, again, using you as an emotional trash can, cut it out. You don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need to look back. All right. But this is very, <laughs> this with the 10 of Ariel, holy cow. Y'all better comment down below and let me know what's going on as the week unfolds. Cause this is crazy. So you're definitely getting some help here. Now this could also, Hmm. What are y'all saying? All right. Some of you, a lot of people who watch this, you're very intuitive people. So you've <laughs> nails, <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't hold the cards. You're getting some intuitive hit about what might be happening. But again, be true to your intuition, all right? Because here's the deal. Let's say I'm holding these cards up and I'm like, burr, 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 right over here, okay? And, <laughs> and you say, oh, I know exactly who's coming in. It's that person, but your gut tells you that's not right. And you go, no, 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 in my brain, I know, because that just makes logical sense that it would be that person. 
Don't sabotage yourself that way. Leave it open. There is something beautiful and flowing coming in this week. Whew, I just heard eruption, but that might come with an eruption. So here's the deal. If you have been in a low place and you thought you had to be stuck in that place and then you start looking at your current circumstances, this isn't so you blame people. It's just you, you get the truth of something and it could just feel like, what in the world? I don't, ugh. or there could potentially be something going on out in the world that just seems like, oh, 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 what, what, what? <laughs> but then we come on through and this opens the energy. This opens the light. And as uncomfortable as this might be, we do have a favorable outcome. So this says, uh, thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me uh, trust and have faith. So things are balancing. There, the scales there, those are balancing. And then we have this number two, and that's all about balance as well, along with Archangel Haniel. Okay, so Sandalfin would be another Archangel to work with this week. Of course, Michael. Gabriel's coming up in a very, very big way. And then we said Haniel as well. Of course, we have Ariel and Raphael here too. It's time, because I'm hearing there's a time for a shift here. But if you really start trying to control things that are going on in your life through your mind, again, saying, no, that person is my soulmate and that's all there is to it, you're probably wrong. <laughs> I'm just going to lay it down for you. You've probably been really misguided, okay? Uh, you know, because people are very good at siphoning off of one another and so they can come in. They might be a soulmate in the sense that they're trying to teach you or reflect back about your patterns, but it doesn't mean they're supposed to be a forever soulmate, okay? They're just here to ignite things. Be ready to cut things out. If you didn't watch my Halloween bonus reading, go back and look at that from yesterday. Uh, same kind of energy spilling over into today. It's very transformational, obviously. Transformational energy. And uh, it, it really is freeing yourself. It really is freeing yourself and saying, I don't need to be pulled into your drama. I don't need to be your punching bag. I don't need to deny myself love. I don't need, because a lot of this is, again, I said, there's this image here of somebody holding you back. And maybe there's an environment that you're in. Don't forget, this could be like your whole, it doesn't have to be a family. It could be like your community just kind of has this weird way of looking at things. And, uh, you know, maybe you couldn't marry for love or, you know, maybe you... I don't know, maybe you couldn't, it just has this feel like you couldn't do what you wanted to do because people were trying to uh, manipulate you or control how you saw yourself. So some of you out there, you had no self-esteem, no self-esteem. I don't deserve love. I don't deserve the good. Uh, here you go. Let me, let me do this. Um, family karma or family, uh, just this family energy of we never make money we're poor and therefore it's just always been in our family. We're just not the type of family that's ever abundant, right? So you're learning that and you're learning to disconnect from that type of energy and you will see an influx of, um, well, listen, it's for everybody who's watching this. So there's some form of prosperity, love, support, like soul support coming in and it's leading you somewhere. If you listen to your intuition, if you can't be told anything, it's not going to work for you. Okay. It's not going to be your week, <laughs> right? but again, it might come with having, um, to let something or someone go, um, certainly not accepting any narrative that drags you down. My poor nose. It's okay. <laughs> I took my Allegra, but she's not working. I, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't talk to her anymore, but anyway, good stuff good stuff some lucky breakthrough something you have been waiting on could potentially happen now let's not sabotage our own energy so you might get a little news that someone is interested i did this way back in the day somebody came through and they actually had a tv show idea and wanted me to be a part of it and i 
you know, I was feeling it out because, uh, you know, I got to feel the energies around what's going on here and all of that. But then I started to like sabotage myself because I'm like, what am I going to do on a TV show? Like how, why, how, huh? <laughs> What am I going to do? I'm, I'm like the most boring person, which is funny because in the past people had scandalous rumors about me. And I was like, thanks for thinking I'm so interesting. Usually I'm sitting with my mermaid blanket around my legs watching a Hallmark movie. But if you want to think that I'm, you know, hot and in demand, that's okay. It's actually not okay. It was pretty toxic. But <laughs> Anyway, there's some authentic, beautiful energy coming in here. Don't waste it. We're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.